Here they ask, what is the solution of the system of equations c plus 3d equals 8 and c equals 4d minus 6? Well, that means what they want us to do is use these two equations to solve for two variables. Because if you have two variables, you need two equations to figure out what those variables are, right? You need that much information to figure it out. And I'm going to use substitution to solve this. This equation right here tells me what c equals in terms of d, right? It says c is equal to 4d's minus 6. So if I take that value and plug it into this equation, something nice will happen. Right? I'll be getting rid of one of the variables and condensing this down so the only variable is d. So what I get is 4d minus 6, right? That's me just plugging this in to here, plus what? Well, the equation says take the c value and add 3d, right? And that equals 8. So if I simplify this side, I get 7d minus 6 equals 8. I add 6 to both sides, and 7d equals 14. Divide both sides by 7, right? And that can, helps me solve for d. So d equals 14 over 7, which equals 2. So now out of the choices I have, I can cross out 4 and 1. The answer is either 2, where c equals negative 2, or 3, where c equals 2. Well, now that I know what d equals, I can plug that into either equation. I'm going to plug it into this one because once I plug d in it'll tell me the value of c. I can do the same thing here it just will take a little bit longer. So I know what I know that c equals 4 times 2 minus 6 and all I did was use this part of the equation but plug in the value of d where I saw the letter d. So that equals 8 minus 6 which is 2. So c equals positive 2 and the answer here is choice 3. That's C equals 2 and D equals 3. Thanks.